Hey guys, welcome to the MBTX Living Channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we're going to do a comparison between two beautiful Texas cities, Seguin and New Braunfels. Both Seguin and New Braunfels have experienced massive growth since the last census. So if you're thinking about moving to this area, these are some of the things that you will likely be thinking about. First, let's start with population. Seguin right now is right around 30,000 people and New Braunfels is around 91,000 people. Yeah, but that's based on the 2020 census and I can definitely tell you that New Braunfels is well over 100,000 people right now. And as you can see, New Braunfels is about three times larger than Seguin, but bigger isn't always better. Yeah, and both cities still have that tight-knit community which retains that small town feel. New Braunfels is known for its rivers, water parks, and rich German heritage. It is home to Schlitterbahn Water Park, Green Historic District, and events like Wurstfest and Wasselfest. Seguin also has a rich history, and it offers attractions such as the Guadalupe River, ZDT Amusement Park, the Downtown Historic District, events like the Pecan Fest, and they have the world's largest pecan. Do you say pecan or pecan? I say pecan, but I mean tomato, tomato. <laughs> New Braunfels has a strong German heritage with the aforementioned Wurstfest, Wasselfest, Schlitterbahn, Das Reck, and every other business with Haas in the name. Additionally, New Braunfels means brown rock in German, and it's named after the German town Braunfels. Seguin has small town vibes with a Spanish heritage. Seguin was founded in August 12, 1836, 16 months after Texas won its independence from the Battle of San Jacinto, making it one of the oldest towns in Texas. It was originally known as Walnut Springs, but changed six months later to honor the San Jacinto veteran Juan Seguin. And in terms of jobs, both cities have very diverse economies. With both cities being located near rivers, there is a demand in the hospitality industry to handle all of the tourists. And Seguin has a strong manufacturing industry and is home to companies such as Caterpillar, Vitesco, and Tyson Foods. New Braunfels, on the other hand, has a growing healthcare industry and is home to major employers such as Christus Santa Rosa Hospital and Resolute Health Hospital. But both Growing cities offer ample job opportunities for residents. When it comes to traffic, New Braunfels can be significantly more congested just due to its population and the popularity of all of its attractions. With increasing populations and struggling infrastructure, driving can be difficult, but some strides have been made in certain high traffic areas. While Seguin has a smaller population and it's known for its ease of commuting. Yeah, one time I needed to get from one side of Seguin to the other side of Seguin. And I didn't, when I, I did it, I didn't even have to stop one time. I drove straight through. It was amazing. <laughs> Both cities are located near major highways such as I-10, Highway 123 in Seguin, Highway 46, and IH-35 in New Braunfels, which can make it easy to travel to nearby cities. And in terms of education, both cities have excellent schools. New Braunfels has the New Braunfels Independent School District and the Kamal Independent School District, which is one of the best school districts in the entire state. Seguin has the Seguin Independent School District and the up and coming Navarro Independent School District, which is already known for its quality education. Both cities have higher education options, including the Texas Lutheran University in Seguin and the Texas State University in San Marcos if you want to stay close to home. Finally, let's talk about cost of living, specifically housing. Seguin is traditionally known to have a lower cost of living than the surrounding areas. The cost to rent a single family home is over $1,900 in Seguin Compared to New Braunfels, it's $2,200. The median house price in Seguin was less than $300,000 as of January 2023, whereas New Braunfels' median house price was over $439,000 during the same reporting period. Property tax rates in New Braunfels are sitting at an average of around 2.24%, 
Once again, they're at 2.11%. So you see a little bit of a tax savings if you purchase a house in Seguin compared to New Braunfels. But always check with your appraisal district for accurate tax information. So regardless if you want to rent or if you're looking at a pre-owned home or a new construction home, both cities have something for you. In conclusion, both Seguin and New Braunfels are great cities to live, work, and visit. While New Braunfels is a larger city with more attractions, Seguin offers a more laid-back lifestyle with a lower cost of living. Both cities have strong communities, rich history, and diverse economies, making them great places to call home. If you feel like we missed anything, just let us know in the comments down below. But if you really like this video and you want to see more of them, make sure you like it and you hit the notification bell. We put out videos all the time. We wouldn't want you to miss anything like that. And this video just has you thinking, I just need to move to Seguin, New Braunfels, or anywhere around this area. Y'all, make sure that you call us, text us, email us, because we're going to guarantee that you're going to live your best life here, wherever you choose, Seguin, New Braunfels, San Antonio. We have y'all's back. That's right, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.